With a history of 300 years, the Guantu Temple has played witness to the development of northern Taiwan and has become a place of spiritual enlightenment and a treasure trove of folk arts. It is also an important cultural historic site. Established in 1712 CE, Guantu Temple was known as the Heavenly Consort or Tenfei Temple with the goddess Mazu the Holy Mother of Heaven being its main deity. It is the oldest Mazu temple in northern Taiwan, leading to the saying, There is the Holy Mother of Beigang in the south and the Holy Mother of Guandu in the north. From the Qing dynasty to the period of Japanese occupation, the temple underwent various phases of expansion including the construction in 1907 that established the temple in its present state. After the project was completed, it was officially named Wandu Temple. In 1953, after the Second World War, a local gentry, Mr. Chen Hongying, set up a committee to oversee the temple's first post-war renovation project. In the 1960s, Mr. Huang Ding, the first chairman of the temple's board of directors, drew up a construction plan for the refurbishment of the temple. After more than 50 years of hard work and its continued expansion, Guandu Temple now attracts an endless stream of pilgrims and worshippers and has also become an important Mazu temple in Taiwan. Apart from being an important place of worship, Guandu Temple's continued support and participation in community services and public welfare has received numerous commendations from the government. Guandu Temple organizes a range of philanthropic activities every year such as the offering of bursaries to students from low-income households, subsidizing the fees for buying books and stationary items for elementary and middle school students from low-income households, and the distribution of supplementary fund packages to low-income households during the Chinese New Year Spring Festival. The temple prepares and provides free meals during festive celebrations, and lunches are also offered free to the public during important ritual events. Guandu Temple concerns itself greatly with local affairs and is keenly involved in and actively supports issues affecting the community. A case in point is the Guandu Dragon Boat Team, which has long been supported by the Guandu Temple. The Dragon Boat team has performed well in recent years and has placed in the top few teams from 1960 to 1986. From the Zhongxing Bridge Commemorative Cup to the International Lions Club Cup to the Chiang Kai-shek Cup and other major Dragon Boat races, the Guangdu Dragon Boat team has won a total of 21 annual championships. Although not a perfect record, it almost certainly is unprecedented. In recognition of their achievements, the Guandu Temple Dragon Boat Memorial Hall was established and opened in 2016. Since 2016, the Guandu Temple Dragon Boat Team has expanded into three different teams, namely the Guandu Temple Seniors Team, the men's team known as the Guandu Temple Guandu Warriors as well as the women's team called the Guandu Temple Girls. 
These three teams will carry on the proud tradition of dragon boat racing at Guangdu. With its long history, sites of historical, cultural heritage and cultural assets, Guangdu Temple is the center of Mazu worship and belief in northern Taiwan. It is also surrounded by rich natural, ecological and cultural landscapes. nourish the soul and satisfy our intellectual and emotional aspirations. Mekoda台湾侨胞,大家好,我是教育部提议署署长林德福,在这里跟大家问候。首先,感谢陈医师十几年来对龙舟运动的支持与赞助。让这个活动一年比一年更盛大。同时，也在此要勉励由关渡宫陈义坤董事长所率领的关渡勇士队，能拿到好成绩。在美国期间，一切安好，祝福各位。